and welcome to the Hog and Dice Poetry Corner. I have here in my lap a book of 12th century Irish bardic poetry. I'm going to be reading one poem a week for the duration of the current situation, which I believe is the accepted YouTube nomenclature at the moment. That or I'll keep reading until I run out of poems, I'm not sure which. But I'll be reading one poem a week from this book until I decide to stop for whatever reason. Uh, the poem I've chosen for the first reading is very prescient to our current situation and might offer a small measure of comfort. It's titled Consolations and it is written from the perspective of a bard was very lonely, isolated from his friends, and the things, the possessions that he calls upon to ease that loneliness and sadness. I think a great many people in my audience will find this poem very relatable, as the bard who wrote it was clearly a giant nerd. Hasten towards me, my booklet, speckled writing of wholesome tales. Part not from me, since all others are forsaking me. Come thou of the fair smooth pages, firmly stitched together. Check my grief after the loss of that fair bright-cheeked company. Bring with thee as thou comest. My pen case, ready, clean, brilliant, filled with sharp, dart-like pens, limber-tipped, firm, newly trimmed. Bring likewise paper and cushion under my hand, whence writing is to percolate upon the smooth slope of the leaf, a fine script, jet-black uniform. Bring with thee my verse book of noble classic Gaelic, that I may learn the roots of each tale, branches of valour and fair knowledge. That I may recite learned lays of the clear knowledge of kindred stocks, each man's family tree, exploits of wonder and travel. Bring my handbook of ordered arithmetic, that I may number the stars of heaven, and how many days it is since the deluge. Forget not the musical branch, red timbered, dry, tuneful, wailing, soft voiced, sweet, a slumberous lullaby to the heart. Grant me the gladsome lyre, loud, brilliant, passionate, polished, seasoned throughout, fine-stringed, engraved all around. When I see the graceful heart, brown-shadowed, great, smooth-curved, under the rushing swift frenzy of my fingers, my heart is stirred so that I have played sparkling melodies with the tips of my eager, rapid fingers, with notes clean, closely linked, grave, nimble, hard-fingered even. Place my beautiful blade in my fair right hand, that I may put a firm battle edge upon its shining sides all around. Bring my beautiful jewel of a dagger, blue-edged, bright, sharp-pointed, with a sheath tightly corded. The case itself is worthy to contain it. Often ere this have I taken great delight in a smooth-lined, even chessboard, pressing against the odds on it, Scattering an ordered host, casting dice from sun to sun in succession, 
like the course of a rushing stream on the checkered, smooth, polished board, lovely, pleasant light. When those have come around me that make me to soar aloft, so that in a brief space I traverse the heavy, sodded world throughout. The more should one so love this fair and dear company, for that against no man do they use murmuring arrogance or reproach. I beseech peace with them, I bow to them, the blessed, smooth and comely band. Above all, I make a friend of my orphan, who has not left me all alone. Oh, hopefully that poem has you feeling a little less lonely. And maybe you can find your own consolations around you. Thank you for listening. Good evening.